Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Although local farmers have known of its existence for generations, a Neolithic circle of standing stones thought to be between 3,500 and 4,500 years old has only just been brought to the attention of archaeologists. The circle consists of 10 stones, each approximately 3 feet high, and they are standing in a circle about 25 feet in diameter. It is located near the village of Alford, about 25 miles away from Aberdeen, on a remote patch of rather unassuming farmland. But what makes this stone circle relatively rare is that it is a fantastic example of what experts call a recumbent stone circle, a variety of stone circle that is unique to northeast Scotland and southwest Ireland. It contains one large stone lying on its side between two upright stones known as flankers. This is one of the most complete recumbent circles known, which makes it extra special. Neil Ackerman from the Aberdeenshire Council archaeological team spoke to LifeScience.com and said, It really doesn't get much better than this. A lot of the recumbent stone circles that people have known about for a very long time only have two or three stones left, so to have one that is complete is quite unusual. The stone circle was made known to experts in November 2018, and former landowner Fiona Bain had previously looked into the stone circle but could find no records about it. Now the experts are investigating, and archaeologists from Aberdeenshire Council and the Historic Environment Scotland Agency have visited the site and conducted a detailed survey. The last complete stone circle in this area was recorded 50 years ago and many other recumbent stone circles in the region have either been damaged, have had their stones removed or have been completely destroyed. Archaeologists have surveyed the lands of North East Scotland and Aberdeenshire in relatively good detail, so this is likely to be the final complete Neolithic structure to ever be discovered in the region, and thankfully for Neolithic researchers it is of the rare recumbent variety. Recumbent stone circles also have another interesting feature in that their distribution is linked to the manufacturing of the rather mysterious, intricately carved Neolithic stone balls, a type of artefact that has long puzzled archaeologists. Experts agree that they are some of the most enigmatic objects from Europe's late stone age, with intricate designs that mimic other types of Neolithic art seen across Europe such as the entrance stone from the Newgrange Passage Tomb in Ireland, which is thought to date back to 3200 BC. To date, more than 500 Neolithic carved stone balls have been found, mostly in northeast Scotland, but also in the Orkney Isles, England, Ireland, as well as one in Norway. They're about the size of an orange, each carefully crafted with stone hand tools, but their use, function or purpose is unknown. Some believe they were weapons, others measuring weights for traders, while some think they were objects of religious devotion, or a symbol of social status. The truth is, nobody knows for sure. The high concentration in northeast Scotland, together with the fact that recumbent stone circles were also concentrated in the same geographic area, does seem to point to the fact that there was a unique and pioneering Neolithic civilization in this part of ancient Britain. The recumbent stone circles in the region were often built on top of earlier cairns of rock and were used at later dates for the burial of cremated human remains. Recumbent stone circles had a long life and were clearly important locations for the local communities over a number of generations. Like most stone circles in northeast Scotland, the recumbent stone of this new discovery is located to the southwest of the circle which some believe reflects the location of the midwinter sunset, which was an important date for farming communities. The stone circle is also located on high ground, and so it is the perfect place from which to view the heavens. Although they have been greatly studied by academics and independent researchers alike, there is no general consensus as to what stone circles were actually built for, what their purpose was, and together with the mysterious stone balls, although we have a number of excellent ancient artefacts and stone monuments, Neolithic Britain continues to be a mystery. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, 
please like the video and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.